Good morning, good morning, wherever you are, good morning. This is a day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Amen, amen. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church of Hayward, California for our morning service. I tell you, God is still a good God. Amen. Amen. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I want to thank everyone that's on Facebook, along with that's on Zoom, and we're just so happy to be coming into your homes one more time. Amen. Amen. Our brothers are singing this morning. We appreciate uh, them singing, and we're going to ask them to sing another selection before we get ready uh, to hear a word from the Lord. And there is a mighty word from the Lord. So wherever you are, call somebody. Tell them to tune in because there is a word from the Lord. Amen, amen, amen.
feel the presence of the Lord in this place. Can't wait till we can have church service again where all of our members will be able to come. And just want to share with you, I've been praying that God will bless us to be able to have full services again in the sanctuary. And I'm believing God that it's going to happen. Amen. All it takes is a little faith. Um, also, uh, I keep forgetting to share with our audience. It's so strange. I get a lot of requests that say, uh, Reverend Hill, you don't have on a shirt and tie uh, on our third Sundays. It's our casual day where our whole church family come together and we just come and worship the Lord. So that's why I don't have all the color on the third Sunday. <clears throat> um, we have so many names on our sick list and we're going to have prayer later on in the service. Uh, we're still praying for Jackson Brown who we're thankful to the Lord that the Lord blessed the little fellow. He's just a year old or less than that and he had open heart surgery uh, down in Georgia sister Fernand Brown's grandson and we've been praying for him as well as Dr. Hughes I talked to her this week her surgery on her eyes went well she couldn't see at all and when they removed the cataracts um, she's doing so much better and of course Thankful for all Deacon Daniels, who's doing well, and all the Elder Phillips, who's looking better and better, and is moving better and better. The Lord is blessing him, and of course, we continue to pray for our first first lady, Sister Elma Davis, who is a remarkable woman to have gone through all she has and yet she's still faithful yes. still a praying woman yes. Yes. praying that God will keep her as well as well as all of you that are on our prayer list we will be praying for you Mother Howard of course we never will forget to continue to pray for you as well as so many <clears throat> um, there is a word from the Lord and I'm excited uh, to just have the opportunity to preach God's word because it's not my word, it's the word of the Lord and <clears throat> how great the word of the Lord is. Those of you that have your Bible, it's a very familiar story that we know in the Bible, but <clears throat> the Lord placed it in my heart to preach on it from the book of Daniel, the 6th chapter and the 16th verse. That's the book of Daniel, the 16th, the 6th chapter and the 16th verse. <clears throat> give you one minute to find it. The book of Daniel, the 6th chapter and the 16th verse. <clears throat> and it reads, Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. Amen. I want to talk from the text this morning. Um, I was set up. I was set up. Amen. I was set up. <clears throat> Daniel was a faithful servant of the living God. <clears throat> he trusted the Lord no matter what the circumstances were. Oh, have mercy, Lord. <clears throat> And even though he was captive and brought by 
by the Babylonian king, he still stayed faithful to God. And I want you to know today as we look at our world and everything that's going on in our world, the COVID-19 that stays on the forefront, the race for the White House, the Black Lives Matter movement, and folks are hungry right in our neighborhoods. No matter what's going on, it's important that we stay faithful to God. Somebody ought to say amen. Our focus has got to be on God. And, and even though Daniel was captive, him and his three companions, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, yet God still blessed him. And he blessed him because he was faithful. Good God Almighty. And what I'm saying today is that even with everything going on in your life, Maybe sickness is in your life. Maybe you, you, you're having financial problems. Maybe there's trouble in your home. But if you just stay faithful, God will bless you. Oh, I'm preaching this morning. God will bless you because he is the center of everything. And I've always heard that God won't put more on you than you can bear. And sometimes it's just a test. And, and you may not know how to do it or how God going to do it, but if you trust God, he will make a way out of no way. I, I wonder if there's anybody here know what I'm talking about. Been in a situation and you didn't know how it was going to work out, but somehow or another you knew that God would work it out for you. So, so Daniel was faithful unto God. And let me tell you something. When you're faithful to God, God will bless you. He will reward you. So even though Daniel was a foreigner, God blessed him. And no matter who the king was, God blessed him to find favor with those that were in authority. And what I'm trying to tell you is oftentimes we try to promote ourselves. We try to boost ourselves. But I want you to know all you need to do is stay faithful and God will do the boosting. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. All you need to do is lean and depend on Him. And I'm a witness, God will do the elevation in his own time. So, so Daniel was faithful. And, and, and no matter who the king was, Daniel stayed faithful unto God. And, and because he was so faithful, uh, God laid it on the king's heart to elevate Daniel higher and higher and higher. And so, well, King Darius uh, took a look at his kingdom. And he said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put 120 princes over all of my territory. And they going to rule everything so that I don't have to worry about anything. And then on top of these 120 princes, I'm going to select three presidents <coughs> and the princes will report to these three presidents. And then when he took a look at it, he said, you know what? There's one somebody that I trust more than anybody else. <coughs> and that somebody is Daniel. And somebody said, Daniel's not one of us. But the king said, that's all right. The Lord put it in his heart to choose Daniel. And I want you to know, stop trying to make folks 
choose you. God will put it in their heart who should be chosen to do what task. <clears throat> so Daniel was ahead of everybody. And you know how it is when you put in charge somebody ain't going to like it. Somebody going to get jealous. And somebody is going to plot to get rid of you. So they all came together. And they said, we got to get rid of Daniel. <clears throat> we got to set him up so he won't be in charge no more. And they began to watch Daniel. <clears throat> they had their spies to see what Daniel did every day. And they said that Daniel was a faithful man. <clears throat> and that if they're going to find anything wrong with Daniel, it's got to be in his worship to Almighty God. The devil is always trying to stop us from worshiping the Lord. The devil don't want the church to open no more. But I want you to know the devil is alive. Because the church belongs to God. And so they watched Daniel. The more they watched him, the more they saw what he did. Every day, three times a day, he would open his window and he would get out on his knees and he would pray to God and he would give thanks unto the Lord. <clears throat> and I began to hear what he might have been telling the Lord. He might have been telling the Lord, Lord, I thank you for another day's journey. Lord, I thank you for the roof over my head. Lord, I thank you for the activity of my limbs. I just want you to know, Lord, you've been a good God to me. So they came together and they said, the way we'll get rid of Daniel, the way that we'll set him up is we'll all go to the king. We'll tell the king, Darius, how great you are. And because you're so great, nobody can worship any god except they worship you, O king. And the king got full of himself. And he said, that sound pretty good. After all, I'm king. After all, I got all of these uh, princes, uh, over 120 providence. <clears throat> I got vice presidents, and I want my name to go down in history. So bring me real quick the script where I can sign it and I can seal it with my ring. That means it cannot be changed. And all along, what they were really doing is they were setting up Daniel. Setting him up to go to the lion's den. As soon as the king signed it, the spies went to Daniel's house. And they were looking to see what Daniel would do. Well, you know what Daniel did? Just what he used to do. He opened his window. He got down on his knees. And he began to pray and give thanks. I can hear him praying and say, Oh Lord, thou art a mighty good God. Oh Lord, you've been better to me than I've been to myself. Oh Lord, I just want to thank you for another day's journey. Oh Lord, I want to thank you for being my doctor. And notice he didn't say nothing about the king. He didn't say nothing about what he shouldn't have done. 
but his focus was on the Lord. I want somebody here to know today that your focus ought to be on the Lord. And uh, when they saw Daniel, they went running to the king. And they said, oh king, live forever. Did you sign a decree? and use your royal ring and say nobody should worship any god except you for 30 days and the king said I sure did and then they started calling upon the name of Daniel they said oh king do you know that Daniel he don't care nothing about what you did. Daniel keeps praying to his God. Daniel keeps calling on the Lord. And oh King, you gotta bring Daniel and put him in a lion's den. When the king realized that they had set Daniel up, he tried to find another way but they said, King, the law can't be broken. So after a while, the king said, go get Daniel. They drug him out of his house, brought him to the lion's den. Somebody been in a lion's den. The lion's den could be hunger. The lion's den could be sickness. The lion's den could be a messed up home. The lion's den could be a messed up job. Cause somebody on the job is trying to set you up. But I'm a witness that if you keep your hand in the hand of the man that can calm the water, everything
faithful in the midst of everything. We've got to stay faithful in the midst of this pandemic. We got to stay faithful. We got to trust and depend on the Lord. And when people set you up, don't fight them. Just keep praying. Just keep telling the Lord, thank you. When I think about how good he's been to me, I just want to say thank you. Every day I wake up, I say, Lord, thank you for another day's journey. When I was sick, I told the Lord, thank you because you've been so good to me. My wife was sick unto death 10 years ago. I kneeled at the bed and I prayed. I said, Lord, don't take her. Take me instead. But please bless her. And 10 years later, look at her. She's a queen. She's a queen. God bless her. Our children. God bless her. My son was sick with the COVID-19. Called me in the middle of the night. Said, Daddy, I know I'm saved, but what do I need to tell God? What do I need to do so that I don't die? I told him, I said, son, if you're going to die, we can't stop the will of God. But what we can do is we can ask him to have mercy. Anybody ever said, have mercy, Lord? Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Oh. You know, the old folks said, when you get the morning, the devil don't know what you're talking about. Ooh. Come on, brothers, before I break out in a song, because I feel a song coming on the doors of the church is still open. Doors of the church is still open. Wherever you are, 